go, all right? Oh, it is. Huh? Can you imagine Daniel Craig in one of these? No. <laughs>
Yeah, but in the other movie, they stopped when she was dead. And blow her killed her, right? You can't Bond. see his face. Oh! My name is Bond. He's back. Bond. In the theaters, when they saw his face, they clapped. Probably. The chest. Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? He's a little bit older. What, and he's only what the hell is that? I always thought it looked like poop. Yeah. Ugh, it looks like poop. Well, that's not Blofeld. He would have been. You see all the sidebirds yeah, in the Yeah, I just want to say that. Did you see what he had in his pocket? Yes, a mouse trap. Yeah, why would he have that? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is all fake. <laughs> but now is he dead? What? Uh, Tracy is gone, he doesn't have any grief. And now Blofeld is dead, but Blofeld comes back in the other movies. Diamonds so now Blofeld is dead. The world's biggest criminal. Who knows? I'm not spoiling anything. What do you think of the song? For what good will love do me? It's a song that diamonds are better for you than love. That's also a quote, right? Diamonds are a girl's best friend? Yeah. Huh. Unlike men, diamonds linger. <laughs> this is this is just a song. It's like, like a power song for women. Yes. Men are just more it's not <laughs> worth going for your grave for. But it's too bad. He didn't saw his face in the two scenes. Or three scenes. It's but like they, a build up where you just yeah, see his hands. Yeah, but it's not like a real build up, like boom, here, here he is. Yeah. And also his voice is sped up when he says, my name is Bond, James Bond. Yes. They sped it up and it's in the trailer of this movie you actually hear the normal speed. I never got why they sped it up. May I remind you, 007, that Blofeld's dead. And his wife Finished. doesn't have any grief. Yeah, I, I, I disagree with that too. I wish they... At least mentioned it. You've been on holiday, I understand. That was his, uh, how do you, uh, honeymoon. But they say ho holiday. The scorpion. Mother Nature's finest killer, Mr. Wint. This is the bad guy. He doesn't look like a bad guy. <laughs> he had it in there? Would you mind having a look, Doctor? Of course. And then they do like the scorpion in his back. Oh my god, how did I know? Oh! Huh? oh! <laughs> That's so fake! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bomb or, a, or something like that. If God had wanted man to fly... <laughs> How did I know that one? Wow, I'm good. <laughs> it's the way they step Look. back. That gay? Close. Yeah, oh, no. suggested gay. Which is pretty... You know, up there for the 70s. The LGBTQ wasn't that big yet. <clears throat> See you again. Well, I've always rather fancied the trip to South Africa. You're going to Holland. Hey! I told you it would be a location you visited. They were here! They were, he was here! <laughs> in Amsterdam! Well, we're not in Amsterdam, but they in were our here. Country. It's a, it's another kind of car than the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, cars changed in the 70s. Money Penny! Yep. Money Penny! 
<laughs> Mr. Frank. What can I bring you back from Holland? A diamond <laughs> in a ring. Would you settle for a tulip? <laughs> mm, a diamond tulip? <laughs> <laughs> so he's taking the hovercraft to uh, Holland. Well, I've never been with a hovercraft Me neither. from... Uh, Dover. This is Dover, right? Yes. It, it should bring you to France first and then you drive up to Holland. Ahmed is one of the oldest bridges in Amsterdam. This skinny bridge. It was built over... I lived in Amsterdam for five years. And it hasn't changed much in 50 no. years, has it? <laughs> you can see... Oh. You can see a dead body. <laughs> That's the lady from the church. There he is. Those are all extras, eh? Right. Can you imagine? If you are asked for James Bond film in Amsterdam to be an extra, yeah, I would say yes in totally. a heartbeat. Totally, every every location I would. Come up third floor. Come up third floor. She's lying in bed. Or what? At home. I'll be out in a minute. That's the Bond girl. Did you notice her color hair? Is uh, Mr. K still at home? There. Huh? But she's now. Weren't you blonde when I came in? Could be. I tend to notice little things like that, whether a girl is a blonde or a brunette. And which do you prefer? Oh, pr but she's in. Oh, you missed the joke! You missed the joke. Talk about <laughs> Providing the colors and cuffs match. Okay. He means I'll the hair here and there. But she's wearing only lingerie. She didn't get it. What? Such a good joke in the movie, and she missed it. Yeah, for you guys. He means like, well, it, it depends on if the hair matches here. Yes, I know, and here downstairs. <laughs> it's the same. But how? How did they do that? You'll he see. He has a, like a, a fake fingerprint on his finger. Uh, how? It's like a glove. Did you see? He just wiped it off. Told you. <laughs> He's already in Amsterdam. Yeah, the real Peter Franks. Come to that girl. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Vita? Why they speak? James Bond. Is that who it was? <laughs> <laughs> but how would she know who James Bond is? That's yes. another. Oh my God! I think we ought to let Mr. Bond carry the load from here on out. Got <laughs> diamonds in his body. Oh well, Felix Leiter, you old fraud. It's always a different Felix in the older movies. Yeah. <clears throat> Those are those, those guys look like you tell your mom. Right. Elementary Dr. Lighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, want to sit in the front, Mr. Franks? It's a lot smoother ride in the front, Mr. Franks. Those are bad guys. No shit. <laughs> your brother, Mr. Franks? <clears throat> yes, it was. I got a brother. <laughs> Small world. Small world. That's what I always say to the children that I teach. I have a brother too. I always say small world. Got it from this movie. <laughs> oh, they're cremating him. Yeah. And the diamonds. Yeah, they can't be burned. So That's true. You, you can just get them out of the uh, ash. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. Oh, yeah, Finn. Amen. If you would care to follow me into my comfortable <laughs> office, Mr. Franks, we will bring you the... 
Hell yes, amen. <laughs> <laughs> but a cremation of a body, it took, it takes like four, five, six hours, right? Does it? Yes. Oh, it's already done. It's too fast. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Dust to dust. Exactly. Oh my god. He's in a casket. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He's gonna be burned. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> And it's going to be quick because the other one died in like or burnt was right. burnt in like one minute. You dirty double crossing limey finkos goddamn diamonds are phonies. My condolences, gentlemen. <laughs> so the other bad guy saved him because the other bad guys had Yeah, they were multiple. <laughs> So confusing. Yeah. He's in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. In the 70s. He's already dead. Yeah. <clears throat> so where are the diamonds now? Yeah. That's a question you can ask yourself the, the entire time in the movie. Hi, I'm Plenty. But of course you are. Plenty are too. <laughs> Named after your father. <laughs> Would you like some help? Turn on number two. This is the bad guy. Willard White. The head of uh, these casinos. Why don't we go someplace and have a drink? Her acting is not that good like the other Bond girls. If you'd like to come in, plenty. Oh, how pretty. What a super... How, how pretty! What a super place you've got! <laughs> hey, listen, you can't do this to me! Stop <gasps> that! I've got friends in this town! <laughs> Thank God she landed in water. Yeah. I didn't know there was a pool down there. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> Ooh. The diamonds are on these girls or what? Wow. She's holding that with her mouth. With her mouth. And we have another one. And she gets the diamonds. Second, hold it. I saw the whole thing. The machine's fixed. Who's she, your mother? <laughs> Blow up your pants. You're supposed to have 24 to win that dog. Will you give it a rest, kid? Huh? Uh, <laughs> all right, boys and girls, here we go. Everybody, come on. What is an elephant doing there? I don't there? know. It's this, this movie. It's just so weird. It's so... <clears throat> it just goes from one thing to the next. Yeah. What's going to happen? Change the lady to a gorilla? Here, lady, you can't go through there the other way. Come on. And now she's down with the diamonds. Always get the diamonds yourself, dude. And what the hell is my black wig doing in the pool? No, it's not just a black wing. It's plenty. Yeah. There's actually a deleted scene here. She was jealous that Bond slept with her later. Oh. She came in when Bond was sleeping with her and then she came to her house. And then they killed her, but they deleted all that. So now it makes no sense. Yeah. Well, who's your connection? You sound like a cop to me. <gasps> who's your connection? What was the stuff? Who are you? Hit her again! <laughs> and then animal goes with the diamonds. Keep leading on that tutor, Charlie, and you're gonna get a shot in the mouth. <laughs> Come on, lady, he says. He doesn't feel it anything in the car. Yeah. Hey. 
<laughs> okay. Here before. I'm Klaus Hergesheimer. Ah, uh, new here. Oh, I've been here three it's years. Right. In did, G-section. did nothing. I have a lot of things in G-section. Oh, yeah. Still. How did he get, like, the white jacket? How? Uh, Klaus Hergesheimer, G-section. <laughs> Just, uh... I should really use that name once if I need a, a fake name. Klaus Hergesheimer. <laughs> Maybe on like a screen name on the internet. Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm Klaus Hergesheimer. G-section. This <laughs> fake. <laughs> no, he's breathing on the moon. <laughs> They're moving in slow motion too, you see? Yes. Craig in one of these? No. <laughs> but why would there be a moon film set in the yeah, first place in this know. facility? I, I, I never got it. <clears throat> I just, that's what I see, say in my review as well. I know the moon landing was like two years before this movie, so maybe they want to make a film set to make it seem like it's a conspiracy or something, but I don't know. <sighs> Makes no sense. And this thing is faster than normal cars? Come on. I guess it has better wheels, like, off-roading for this kind of terrain, yeah. but still. But still. <laughs> the villains don't seem like particularly smart guys in this movie. <laughs> but you know, you're the in whole the... Car fell apart. But you're in the desert. Why are you <laughs> driving a Cadillac? You have to get like uh, jeeps or something. Uh, at least there's like these, bi these bikes. Uh, <laughs> and he's just like driving. <laughs> oh, where should I go? Oh. <laughs> 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 they have like a flag. And, and Bond doesn't even, you know, take them out. They no. take care of themselves. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't have any, like, uh... Like, two of them already got taken out and Bond has no weapons. Of themselves? Yeah. <laughs> so incompetent. He has to restart the whole thing. Oh, he's already here. So he actually got out. They're still chasing it. <laughs> but how? I didn't see the lid open. Or no, that. me neither. Anyway, he's out of the facility. <laughs> what happened? Where Get are in the, the car. Comments? If you see a mad professor in the minibus, just smile. <laughs> this is so weird. This movie is so weird. I told you. It's... Did the writers have a writer's strike or something like that? Because it looks like. <laughs> no, that was just Quantum of Solace that you saw. But... Well, Quantum of Silence was better than this one. Yeah, I rank it one above this, and that's it. I have a friend named Felix who can fix anything. Is he married? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Son of <laughs> bitchin'. <laughs> what do you got in that tea? Is it like wine, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. You've got a friend named Felix who can fix anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dead end. I got you now. That's not possible. It was a dead end. No, that was yeah. Okay, they went through the alley, but did you did you notice how they got in and how they got out? Yes. Can you explain it? What did you see? Well, she had to lean over mm -hmm. on the her side. Right. But then he saw she was on the other side. Yeah. And that's. So they that's put that shot in as if they changed wheels because they accidentally filmed the 
coming out on the other reels, they made a mistake and they were like, oh, we made a mistake, so they put that shot in and hope people didn't notice. <laughs> you did talk to your friend Felix about me. Would you like to sleep in a bed like that? No. Mr. and Mrs. That's strange for a hotel room. They don't have any people. You see that? No go. We sit still. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have a key, you know. He's going to White, White World. White's, yeah, Willow White's mansion. Uh, hello. Maybe it was an elevator that would crush him. He didn't even know. No, uh, indeed. <clears throat> so now he's just hanging there. On top of the building. Yeah. Oh my god, I have like sweaty balls. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh yes, because we all have that. In Standard our issue. <gasps> you just you can't just climb up there without of without gloves. So now Does we're about to meet him finally. I think we already saw him. Only from here, right? Mm -hmm. We heard his voice. <laughs> this is the bathroom! Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? You are a pleasant fella. Yeah. He's like a Texas kind of guy. Yeah, it's so weird. They're from, they're from Los Angeles. Of, uh, Las Vegas, Las Vegas right? yeah. Good evening, Mr. Bob. It's Blofeld, right? Blofeld. Yep. Good evening, 007. Huh? Volunteers were well, understandably. So we already cloned himself. Rather scarce. Yeah. Resonance stored in a small so this is the fake oral signature. Blofeld? No, One of the two. Transistorized version is installed. Ah, oh, yeah. The cat always goes to their boss. No, he kicked him to the boss. And look, this is the real one with the diamonds. And who does he go to? To the other one. Take him. What's that? He's expecting the floor to drop, but it's actually gas. So those two are the henchmen from Lofeld. But why don't they? You know, why don't they just shoot him? Or, you know, but yeah, because they, they just... shot all the other ones, but they were in the hotel casino, and now they are in the desert, like in a second. The Las Vegas is in a desert. Yeah, but the strip is not in a desert. You have to drive they, a lot they, of he, kilometers. Yeah, he did. They did it in a long tunnel. So they left him in. Um, yeah, in a tube. Because that's an easy way to kill someone. In the perfume. Uh -huh. What's that? Something you don't want to touch, I guess. I don't mind a cockamamie machine breaking down twice a day, but why the hell does it always have to be 500 yards away from the nearest hatch? <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just out walking my rat and I seem to have lost my way. But what kind of pipeline is that? I don't, I don't get this movie. It's too much, you know, it's too much. You've surpassed yourself this time. Not a bit of it. Made one of these for the kids last Christmas. <laughs> Maxwell, James and I are heading for the house. You get set to hit the pan. You see the tie? Yes. The fashion of the 60s is like timeless and the, se the 70s fashion just aged so <coughs> badly. Well, hi there. Who's that? I'm Bambi. Good morning, Bambi. And I'm Thumper. Is there something we can do for you? <coughs> All yours, Bambi. You don't see Bond getting kicked in the balls that, that often, do you? He's going to make a joke. I guess who's giving breaststroke lessons? Where the hell is White? I haven't found out yet. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Bert Saxby? Yeah. Tell him he's fired. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you see Bond look at him like... <laughs> On the case there, when the desired symbols appear, this causes the rotation of the cylinder... <laughs> yes, that's Blofeld. No, it wasn't a woman. No, it's Blofeld. Oh. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Don't I'm delighted you. to meet you, Miss Case. What do you think of Blofeld dressed as a woman? Yeah, Doesn't that know. make you comment? <laughs> it's so strange. They have a lot of, like, LGBTQ things in this movie. I don't think that was even the, the meaning behind it. So the thing okay. they put the uh, diamonds on, it was a satellite. Okay, but why? And now comes the big plan from Blofeld. So we went through all this trouble from the diamonds going from South Africa to Holland to America to get the diamonds on the satellite to make it look shiny. Premature what? first aid separation. Doesn't make sense. There are the diamonds. But why? I don't know. Vast supply of diamonds being manipulated by an expert in light retraction. That's why I guess diamonds being manipulated for light contraction. <laughs> Here comes the weapon. <laughs> Great movie, right? <laughs> I've seen YouTube clips that look <laughs> that look better than that. It's so weird because they had a pretty big budget. But I mean, from Russia with Love was ten years older, but they had really great explosions with mm -hmm. the boats in the ending and stuff. Yeah. So how come this looks so fake? I never got it. These effects. I mean, look at this. I mean, what are we watching? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know. This is for war or something. From Texas to Baja, California. Baja? I haven't got a thing at Baja. Well, luckily he placed it there as a model. So now we know where he is. Yeah. I and mean, why would he put it, have it installed there anyway? I don't know. You have to ask the writers of James Bond. <laughs> One hour for both of us to achieve our common dream. Total disarmament and peace for the world. Peace? Everyone is at war. So he wants peace. <laughs> Total disarmament and peace for the world. <clears throat> right. What, what's that? What do you think? I don't know. They're dropping something onto the platform. I really don't know. This is so... I think it's James Bond. Good morning, gentlemen. The Acme Pollution Inspection. We're cleaning up the world. We thought this is a suitable starting point. <laughs> We're cleaning up the world. There she is. Sunbathing. It all seems so perfectly simple. I suppose one just... Presses that and out it pops. Put it back, Mr. Bond. Definitely. You already switched it. Yeah. He's being searched, so he has to get rid of the real tape. Yeah. I did it. I switched the tape in the machine. You stupid twit, you put the real one back. Come in. on. Come on, let's. <laughs> They saw the balloon from miles and miles and miles far. I guess. But it's red, so... Whoa, what an effect! <laughs> What's that? This submarine to escape.
One minute <laughs> and counting. He's he's <laughs> he's using himself. He's using Blofeld for yeah. the satellite. Here. Shoot him. <gasps> So we don't really see what happens no. to both of us. We don't see anything. They just like jump to an ending. To yeah. an ending. This is the end. No, not yet. Oh. Ashley. Tidbits. Prime rib or you. It's a bar. Mm. Bomba surprise. That doesn't give it away. Fantastic. Of course. Unfortunately, our cellar is rather poorly stocked with clarets. Mouton Rothschild is a claret. <laughs> you didn't know Bond ha uh, has a taste for wine. Yeah. Is that the only thing she says? E? She doesn't do anything. At least here they put someone in fire for real. They didn't do that with the Chinese guard. Yeah. Overboard. <laughs> well, he certainly left with his tails between his legs. How the hell do we get those diamonds down again? Yeah. This is the end. So, that was Diamonds Are Forever, yeah. the first Bond movie of the 70s. I think the viewers got a general impression of what you thought if they saw this, but what are your overall thoughts on Diamonds Are Forever? First of all... First of all... His wife died. <laughs> right. No mention of that. I didn't saw any grief. No, they pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, but um, they changed the actor to Sean Connery. All right. Okay, okay. But still, have a little little grief for your for your wife. You were married in the other uh, other movie. Yeah, I completely agree. This is agree. still like a sequel from the seventies. Yeah. And it's like in the because this is something we expect from the newer movies, right? In the newer movies, especially the Daniel Craig movies, it always continues. Uh, but whereas in the older movies, they're pretty much standalone movies each time. You were on vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as if it didn't happen. Something like that. <clears throat> yeah, but I I completely agree. agree. Anything else about the movie? <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is one of the most bad movies I saw in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's a shame because uh, Connery is my favorite Bond, but I can only agree. This is my personal least favorite Bond movies, as my longtime viewers will know if you've seen my my uh, my other content. Uh, but I guess I can almost I never assume saw your you haven't seen all of the no exactly, but you you haven't seen all of the Bond movies yet. But I'm pretty sure this isn't one of your favorites either. No, and John Connery also didn't act very well in this one. Then well, that brings us to our first rating, Bond's oh, performance. Yes. How much stars did you give uh, Connery? Connery, well, I always. Gave you five stars. Yeah, for your sometimes acting. four. Yeah, for your acting performance, but this one. Yeah. I gave you three stars. Three stars. I, I wanted to give you two, <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty. Bad. It's like he just shoehorned in his performance because he was asked back for a lot of money, but he doesn't seem to be that suave, sophisticated, sexy agent that he was in. The first five, I think. Mm -hmm. Anything else about Connery you want to mention before we move on? Um, I thought he uh, lost some weight. 
I thought he, he gained some weight. Oh. Did you see him in the Tiffany case in the bed with like the belly and? No, it, I didn't notice. Maybe he looks slimmer because of the big sideburns he maybe has in the that. 70s, but. Yes. And um, I looked older. He looked a lot older for his age. He looked yeah. like he was in his 50s, even though he was in his early 40s. Yeah. He, uh, he aged really rapidly. Until la a later age, where he seemed to be staying young all the time. But, um, yeah, no, I, I agree. I do have to say, though, Connery was funny in this movie. There were some funny lines. Mm -hmm. Klaus Rögensheimer, g yeah. there, there, there were funny moments, funny lines. So, three stars. Is it going to be downhill from here or um, are we going to get some higher ratings? We'll find out with the Bond girls <laughs> of this movie. What did you give the Bond girls? <clears throat> My lowest ranking. <laughs> Which is? A one. One star for the Bond girl. Uh, is it just Tiffany Case or did no, you consider Plenty as well, all <laughs> yeah. of them? Uh, what did you think of uh, the main Bond girl is Tiffany Case, played by Jill St. John. What did you think of her? She had to play dumb or what? It, it, it seemed like that all the, the other movies, all the Bond girls were like badass or were like helping him or stuff. And she, she was the only one who stands there like... Whereas in the beginning, she's like, she's like being the, big, the American girl, like, you know, bad mouthing those people at the gas station and, yeah. and being like, she, and she had a pretty badass entrance with all the, the colored the wigs and she yeah. looked like she was in control. But then in the end, she shoots at the oil platform and falls behind uh, in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, and the girls at uh, what's his name in the Willard White's uh, penthouse. His, yes, uh, Bambi and Fumper. Yeah, they were quite strange. Like they were like I don't know. They had they had to do something with what what's his name? Bond. No, the other one. Willard White. Willard White. This movie is so bad. I can't even remember the names um, they had to do something with his house because otherwise they just had Willard White in that house right so there needed to be an interesting scene there so they yes. had two gymnastic uh, girls there to that's fight that's for me when I yeah. saw that yeah and there was Plenty O'Toole the one with the Plenty uh, in oh her yeah dress. she's also weird yeah she doesn't do that much either No. Nope. No, so one star. And she was like dead. Yeah, in an instance. <laughs> so at first she survived by being dropped into the pool, and then there's a deleted scene and she's dead. So that brings us to the Bond villains of this movie. What do you rate them? Yeah, I didn't know who the villains were. I thought they were the two guys hand in hand. Like yeah, the main Mr. Wind and Mr. Kid. Because Blofeld was dead. Yeah. <laughs> But um, they were the henchmen. Yeah, and then Blofeld turned out to be the real villain for the uh, third time in a row. Another one in uh, in the casino. Mr. Willard White. Yes. But that I, was Blofeld all along. Yes, but I didn't know. I, no. It was too complicated. Yeah. And uh, it was like. And even if you, if, you, if you look at just Blofeld, this Blofeld, the, and this time he has hair, he has clones, and he's British all of a sudden. What did you think of this, his performance? Charles Gray is the actor's name of this Blofeld. It's the third Blofeld in a row and, we, and the third time they use a different actor. Yeah. Um, well, I... I don't see him like a Blofeld kind of guy. The only one I can remember as Blofeld is the one with the scar. Right, that's the and most memorable bold. one. And you only live twice. Yeah, yeah. that's the only one. That's the classic one. That's yeah. the one, the modern one. That's ones for reference. me Blofeld, yeah. but the other, the, this one, no. I agree, and you may not have even noticed, but this actor played in one of the previous Bond films too. In fact, he was in that movie you just referenced. Oh. He was the guy with the wooden leg in the Japanese house that, that said, uh, stirred, not shaken, in that house. And then oh, yes, 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 y
Yes. That was him. Henderson. Oh. So and this, now he's Blofeld. Now he's Blofeld. They just reused the actor for a different role. They do that a lot in the older movies. Mm. Okay. It's, um, it was all over the place in this movie with the villains. So yeah. I don't know. I gave them a one because they didn't look a lot like villains in my point of view. And um, everyone was a villain. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Except the real boss of the casino because he helped James Bond. Yeah, Willard White. He turned down to be uh, an ally. Yeah. So uh, let's move on uh -huh. to the locations of this Bond uh, film. Yeah. What did you think? Um, they were pretty awesome locations because they film, filmed in the Netherlands. I don't know for sure they filmed in the yeah, Netherlands. Yeah, they were there. But only with the canals and the outside, but mm. not the inside, I think. No. Yeah, Connery was in Amsterdam with the outside scenes, but <clears throat> it wasn't that spectacular. Yes. And I've been to all of them, yes. You've been to Vegas as well, right? Yeah, yeah. one time. And um, I, gave, I gave them how many stars? I gave them two stars. Um, there were beautiful places, but they didn't film the places very well. I agree. It's not it's not that exotic in the way it's mm. filmed, and uh, Amsterdam hasn't really changed that much in fifty oh. years. We can uh, we can say, but even though they they film in our home country, to me it's not that interesting in this movie. It's uh, it's a shame because it's cool to see your own country in a yeah. Bond movie, but it's it happens to be. I lived in Amsterdam for five years. Yeah. So. It happens to be in one of the worst ones, unfortunately, in our opinion, of course. Um, moving on to the story, did you rank that any higher? Another one, one star. star! Another one star for yes. the story. Talk us to the story. Uh, I don't know! <laughs> did, you, did you make any sense of it? <laughs> Um, no, I uh, almost fell asleep at the end and I asked you many times when does it end? When does it end? It's a shame when that happens, because, doesn't it? Uh, yes, because I just lost time of my life watching this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty harsh to say that, but I'm sorry. If this is the uh, same, um, how you call that, director of Goldfinger, you said? Isn't that a surprise? Because then, you really enjoyed that the second time. Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can already tell you. Mm -hmm. Guy Hamilton directed four Bond movies, Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, and the next two. Mm -hmm. So the next two are also going to be directed by him. Oh, so I you saw one that was good, one that was bad, so let's see what the other ones But the are only be like. thing that was standing out in this movie was um, Bond yeah. uh, in that, like, how do you call that, casket? Yeah, that was a pretty dark scene, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. When he was it was, killed. and then he was rescued by the other uh, bad guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree, that's one of the darkest moments in, uh, in this film. Um, I, I also like the elevator fight between him and Peter nope. Franks a bit. No, nope, I didn't like that. And it was too the fake. humor, but mostly... Um, yeah, the humor. The humor is decent, but not in all the moments. But there's so there's much confusing basically. stuff, isn't it? I know yeah. I'm, I'm talking about this as well now that I've seen it again, but like the, the elephant, the circle. Oh yeah, the, the elephant! It's so circus, weird to have yeah. an elephant in the casino. Yeah, stuff like that. What? And, um, you know, Blofeld in a dress, like dressed up oh, as a yes. lady. They didn't have to do that. It's just full of weird stuff, this yeah. movie. It, it, it doesn't really get any weirder than this movie, luckily. And you saw Money Penny and Q, you saw them in like few cuts of scenes. Yeah. And not like a whole scene. No, no you saw them they like, were, they were just oh, you're moments. here! Yeah. <laughs> and M, I didn't saw M like one or two scenes and that's it. That's normal in the older movies, but you're right, he was mostly there in the beginning and that's yeah. it. Um, so, I guess we don't have to guess how much stars you gave your enjoyment because you pretty much summed it up with the story here. Uh, how many stars for the enjoyment? Another one star. Um. Yeah, I can't. It's a shame. I hope um, you'll never have to sit through a Bond movie where you give one star to your enjoyment again. <laughs> but it happens. 
Um, so that brings your total score to one and a half star. Uh, bringing this at the bottom of your Bond movies so far. Oh, the bottom! Okay. Just like mine. Uh, but I like wonder, yours. yeah, it's my least favorite, but I wonder mm. if yours gets one <clears throat> underneath it. But I I assume this might be your bottom one as well. But who knows, there's still a lot more yeah, I to go through. I still don't know why they had to steal the diamonds, because they had to do it for a satellite. Yeah, it ended up on the satellite as well. It's it's And it's for completely more different. For and then for war, or what? <laughs> yeah, to destroy, like important Missiles. military be, be, for, yeah for other countries or something he like that he destroyed all kinds of military uh, they have war yeah but Blofeld said he wants to have world peace oh yeah that's another <laughs> thing know. yeah it's um it's yeah, a confusing he's, movie he's a villain right because villains want to have war not peace <laughs> and that's something he just said to the other guy but um mm. Let's forget making too much sense of this because I've tried to do that many times as you've seen in my recapping episode of Diamonds. Um, but the m funny part was that he used Blofeld to like push him in the... In the submarine, uh, the mini sub. Yes. Yeah. That, that was funny. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Anything else before we uh, finish off this video? Uh, Felix Slider was also here. Oh yeah, he wasn't that special either, was he? No, but he was in this movie. He was in this movie, yeah. <laughs> he was in there again. Okay, um, next time we're gonna go and continue with Live and Let Die 1973. Uh, I hope this one is better because otherwise I will be angry. Well, I well, don't want to watch anyone. And we'll see what happens, but we'll finally get a fresh new Bond face. Uh, in Roger Moore, who did the Is most that? Bond movies, he's the, the actor that did seven Bond movies from here on in. So the next seven are all Roger Moore Bond movies, so I hope you're going to like him. So next time we're going to continue with uh, the Roger Moore movies, and Lirit hasn't seen any of them yet, so that's <laughs> going to be exciting. Um, I hope he's a good actor. We'll see what happens. He's uh, uh, often dubbed the funny Bond, the light-hearted funny Bond. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens A with lot Roger of jokes Moore. There. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you'll see us next time in Live and Let Die. Take care, guys. Bye.